Okay, here I am, the average guy. I'm with my buddy in Nashville, Mr. Bobby Holland. Say hi to the people out there. Hi to the people out there. <laughs> now, Bobby is a musician, right? Yeah. He loves of, 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 music. Amongst other things. Yeah, we're at Bobby's studio. What, what's your studio called, Bob? Uh, South Street Studios. South Street Studios. So if you need a record cut, right? Song mix, record cut. Bobby's your man. Go ahead, buddy. I like that guitar. <laughs> so you were telling me a little bit of history of that guitar? Oh, yeah. This, this was my very first guitar ever. This was my father's. He bought it in 1972. It's a um, pretty low-end Yamaha guitar, but it has held up over the years, and now they're actually kind of sought after. Cool. So I'm kind of, kind of lucky to have it. It, was, it wasn't particularly fancy in the 70s, but like, like many pieces of vintage gear, now it has become valuable. This is my newest acquisition, made by a fellow named Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts. Roberts Custom Instruments. He makes great guitars, this being sort of a, a Frankenstein thing. It's a uh, Telecaster body, Okay. a la Fender Telecaster, uh, and it has pickups that would be used in a Gretsch. It has a Bigsby, which is not common for Telecasters. Okay. And the neck, though it looks like a pretty normal Telecaster neck, is actually the same scale and shape as a 50s Gibson Les Paul. Awesome. So it's it's a total mashup guitar of of some of my favorites. Put it all together in one package and you have something really, really unique. Sweet. Plus it looks rock and roll. It does. <laughs> he also made this bass. Wow. Which is a um, somewhat of a hybrid Fender Precision and Jazz Bass pickups. And the neck is, it looks like a 70s Jazz Bass neck, but it's actually the larger Jazz Bass neck size that they didn't make in the 70s, Robert's Custom Instruments. Right, and is he based right here in Nashville? He's based, yep, in, in, uh, out in Hendersonville. This is a great guitar. So you uh, arrange, you produce music? Producing, engineering, awesome. um, mixing, largely mixing. Th this year I've been about 90% mixing records, usually about three or four of a five or six day work week. I'm just sitting in here by myself mixing. Huh? Other days I'm at other studios, um, engineering tracking sessions or um, or doing pre-production or rehearsing with a band or whatever. Other guitars. This is my favorite. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is a custom shop Gibson 336. It looks old because I play hard. It's actually <laughs> only a few years old. Right between a Gibson 335 and a Les Paul. Scaled down size. The coolest thing about it is the back and the sides, and there's a block in the center which are hand carved out of one piece of this beautiful mahogany. Nice. This is an awesome guitar. Oh, look at this guy. This is a Eastwood Airline tuxedo. It looks like a tuxedo. It does. It's styled after the uh, airline tuxedo of the, I guess, 50s and 60s. I don't remember exactly when they were made, but this is a new guitar modeled after an old guitar. It looks, it just looks so cool. It sounds good too. So I'm assuming that the guitar is one of your favorite instruments. Drums are actually my favorite. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. I, I, I've been playing guitar the longest, but, All right. but drums, I think drums are way cooler than guitar, personally. Okay. Last but not least is just your run of the mill Fender Telecaster. Classic Fender Telecaster. Oh, I like it. Nothing, nothing special about this, but it, it, because there's nothing special, it's special. <laughs> it's a classic. All right, so what do you got here now? This is my studio. This is where all the magic happens? This is where all the magic happens. Sweet. What do you got here? Your mixing board? This is a uh, 1980 Neotech Series 1E. It's all Greek to me, guys. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so basically, music comes out of here. Brandon model name. Music comes out of the computer, through here, and to goes, your ears. And you've got to actually you've got a computer controlling got, things today. Does that make me sound old? There's a computer controlling the music. We have a computer. <laughs> All right, man, I'll let you go. This is the man right here. Appreciate Nashville, that. Tennessee. <laughs> well, Bobby, it's been awesome. Thanks for the hospitality, the tour of the studio. I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's go get some hot chicken. Hot chicken. Hattie B's. All right, let's do it, man.